Howdy everyone, it's Jake here and I'm with our new bottle calf who we've named Russell Crowe who's a famous Aussie actor and the reason we named this calf that was we ran a competition on our Facebook page so what should we call our new house cow? This is the uh, calf that was stuck in its heifer mum out the paddock and I pulled it yesterday morning Doing very well. I tube fed it two litres of colostrum yesterday morning. Another two litres last night. Uh, it actually sucked most of that. And then this is its second feed for today. I'm giving him two litres three times a day. And this is just a milk replacement powder. And this is the first time he sucked it without me holding him. And look at his tail. Body language means a lot, guys. And, uh... Alert eyes, ears that are standing up, a tail, frisky tail like that, and then the way he comes and headbutts me, he's actually looking for a teat on me. You can see how I haven't bothered, I'm probably going to wear these pants the next three days, I reckon, because he's, it takes him a few days. They're all over your kneecaps and everything. But his mum just flat out refused to take him. She'd experienced the hard labour. We pulled the calf out. Calf's face was really swollen and his front feet were swollen. And he couldn't stand up for quite a while. His ankles were all swollen, his front ones, and bent back the wrong way. He was hock walking. And uh, just a bit of time and patience and time sitting with him and help letting him lean on us. And he's standing quite well, quite quickly. He's a little bit wobbly, but he's only a new calf. And uh, he's actually got company here because he's sharing quarters with our other house cow cheddar who's finished her milk and gone back into the shed we've had about 30 mil of rain overnight and throughout this morning which we're so grateful for it's been very dry and it's going to go a long way we're halfway through spring and we're having 24 degree days so to get 30 mil now with a bit more on the forecast means we're going to grow a lot of feed this might be the difference between getting through summer without supplementary feeding or not. Anyway, lots of people were asking for an update. Oh, the name. We ran a competition. You can still see his face is a bit swollen. See the fluid above his eyes? His nose was fat. Uh, his nose has settled right down and his eyes are on the way, his eyebrows. Anyway, the name, we did a competition and when he was born, I documented this online, I left him alone for 15 minutes with his mum. I went to go get some equipment and I thought I'll give him 15 minutes without anyone watching just so they can have a moment to bond because she was staying well away from him when I was nearby. And when I came back that 15 minutes later, this calf was still laying. Mum was as far away as she could be in that paddock and he had crows pecking the uh, soft undersides of his feet and eating his the bottom of his hooves. Uh, it was really upsetting actually and we chased the crows off and um, that's when we brought him home and we tried to fence his mum with him and she wouldn't wouldn't take it but their, their hooves are been born very soft and that's why the crows were easily able to eat them uh, but then they harden up and if you can see uh, he's gonna be if you can see the damage there but they're hard and he's walking on them fine and I actually don't think it's causing him any uncomfort. I think he's getting the drill. Look at that. And then here's Cheddar. Did you finish your milk? Were you the first one finished? And you're hanging out next to the chook shed, hey? Yeah. You're a beautiful, clean, shiny calf. So Cheddar here... He's half Jersey, half Angoonie. Russell Crow over here, or Russ. His mum is half Jersey, half Angoonie. And his dad is a speckle park bull at one of our lease blocks where we background animals. The, the, the neighbour, that's actually a couple paddocks away. They don't join our property, but multiple times their bulls got in and done a joining and that's okay. That's part of what happens. We're just happy that you're alive, buddy. Hey, you're starting to walk well. Okay. Do you want to come and lay down? 
in your bed. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah. 